everyone, so today we are doing a very exciting video. You guys, when I say an exciting video, I mean it. I had no idea this existed until I knew it existed, and then like its existence took on my existence. Like I was so excited for this. Also, I'm wearing this big fluffy jacket right now because it actually got down to like 15 degrees in the house yesterday. I don't know why the furnace just shut off so it's cold but I am gonna take it off. It's cold. <laughs> it's cold. So as you guys probably saw from the title, The RuPaul launched a wig line with Party City and now there are so many reasons why this is iconic. I just want to come in and say this now because it's bothering me while I'm editing. So if you ever see me going like this, like constantly doing that in the video, it's because I had just mounted my monitor up on the wall so it isn't like off to the side. So if I'm ever checking to see if it's in focus, I'm like, so it looks kind of ridiculous, but it's because the monitor. RuPaul, you missed something very iconic. You don't miss iconic things often, but you missed one because one of these wigs should have been named Go Back to Party City Where You Belong or Tired Ass Showgirl, you like, or Sharon Needles. To those of you who watch RuPaul's Drag Race, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about when Fifi and Sharon Needles got in like a huge fight and it went very, very big. It's like such a meme now. And basically Fifi said to Sharon that she should go back to Party City where she belongs. And then Fifi, or Sharon told Fifi, I'm messing up names. Sharon told Fifi that she's a tired ass showgirl. So I'm sad, honestly, that none of these wigs are talking about that because they were bringing up Party City and now RuPaul launched a line of wigs with Party City iconic but the name should have been there but anyways yeah rupaul launched a bunch of wigs and i bought them all they're all from party city he also launched some uh lashes right here that i also bought i did i'm not gonna put them on for the video i just like really wanted them so i'll show them quickly okay so here are the three packs of wigs they are very very big they're very very bold just like rupaul well he's not big but he's bold. So these are the Born to Shine eyelashes, the Slayered eyelashes, and the Hey Baby Doll eyelashes. This packaging is so iconic, so RuPaul, so colorful, just like the main stage on RuPaul's Drag Race. So I love it. And oh, it's like looks just like the workroom colors actually. But yeah, this isn't the part of the video. I just wanted to show you guys these because I'm really excited about them. Hopefully in future videos, I will use them. You guys will see them on. Okay, but now to the main event of this video. I have one, two, three, five wigs to try on. Look at this packaging. Like look how colorful and how fun these wigs are. Like I'm so excited to see how they are. I hope the quality is good. I've actually had like party city wigs in the past for Halloween costumes but I've never actually thought to wear them out and about or anything like that so we will see what type of wig this is if it's really good quality I don't know so let's try them so the first one that I'm gonna try is actually the one wig that was like back ordered or not back ordered but you had to pre-order it like four of them launched and then this one was launching later so I don't know if this is like the best one like this is the one you had to pre-order this is the one that didn't launch at the normal date this is the RuPaul side swept away wig now these wigs weren't cheap by the way these were about I think around 50 to 70 dollars each so they aren't your usual like costume wig that is like 20 dollars so we'll see if the quality is the same sort of thing but look at this <laughs> look at this wig this is like no wig i've had i'm very curious after it being in the packaging if it will have this whole like side swept design rupaul modeled all of these looking amazing as always like literally so amazing all right so here is the box that it comes in and then it just opens up kind of like a shoe box oh my goodness i'm so excited about this look at this wig look at this color it's like a blonde and then like a caramel blondish brown mixed in and these curls are so intense and look at the front Look at that, not quite a lace front, not at all. Oh my gosh, and this puff just stays. Okay, and then this hair down here is in a, a tie, so I'm not sure if I'm supposed to undo that. I think I am, based on the picture. Oh my gosh, I just ripped out so much hair. You know what? I'm gonna put my hair into a little um, hair cap thing. 
and then we will throw this baby on. It's always so difficult because I do have like rather thick hair. So to get it all into a bald cap, or not a bald cap, why do I keep saying a bald cap? And then I'm just gonna pull it back. Obviously I'm not going to glue any of these wigs down just because I have to try on five. That would take forever. Okay, so inside the cap, by the way, there are these little clips that stick out. That's on a lot of wigs if you want to like run it through your hair. But okay, I'm just gonna put it on and then I'm gonna try and style it because I don't know what it's gonna look like when I first put it on. What in the world is going on? I'm trying to remain calm. Hold on. I'll back up a little bit just because this wig is so bodacious, so big that it does not fit. What is this? What is this chunk here? Okay, I'm trying to look at this picture and it's close, but there's something I need to do. I think this big puff like right on the front needs to get pushed off to a side. So maybe it's off to, see I'm guessing it goes off to this side because this side kind of sweeps back like that. Okay, let me grab a little pin. Okay, I'm just gonna try and push it over because it's supposed to be a side swept away wig. The insane part of all of it is like, this is how I look and like, this is how RuPaul looks in this. Like, if that isn't alarming, I don't know what is because like, she looks so good and then, Okay, I am a little conflicted just because I am so surprised with what this looks like. I mean, I totally thought looking at this picture that it was going to be very extra and I knew there was going to be a big poof here. But this poof is way bigger than I expected. Like, oh my goodness. Maybe if I just like, there's a huge like piece of poof in here. Like, look at this. Like when you actually dig in here. Why do I love it? Like honestly, why am I enjoying this so much? Like why do I feel like this is awesome? Honestly, I cannot wait. We are starting off with such a bang. Look at this wig. RuPaul, you have done it again. You queen of extra. I love this. I have never had a wig with this much volume. This is absolutely insane, absolutely extra at first. I was a little worried because this hairline is definitely not doing the most, but once you like pull these little curls down and like hide it a little bit, I think like this side is like a lot more acceptable. Like look at that. Do I not look like I'm from the 80s? Let me know down below what you guys think I should do for like makeup and outfit with this. It's almost like I want to do like an Elvis thing. I don't know why. Actually, I do know why. This is why. Okay, so now that we've done a really natural, a subtle blonde moment, we're gonna do something a little bit more extra and we're gonna go on into this teal moment. This is RuPaul teal the show. So like steal the show. Oh my goodness, such a pretty color. Okay, I'm dropping everything. Ooh, I do not have a wig this color yet. Did I ever dye my hair this color? I feel like whenever I do a wig video, I always am like in this endless crisis of like, should I do it? Should I dye my hair this color? Like I have the power yet I will never use the power. Look at this, it feels like I just pulled like a giant poodle off my head. So this one looks like it might have a more natural looking hairline because it kind of looks like on the front it goes forward a fair bit. Every flip over, like when I flip my head is just very overwhelming. Now, you always have to remember right when you take it out of the box, like it's been in the box a long time, okay? So just give me a second to try and control it. I feel like brushing it out just a little helps. Holy, this is a huge wig. Okay, it looks like RuPaul's is like very swept back. Like right now my bangs are very much going forwards and I like that look, it's kind of cute but I definitely think I should do it as it's intended. So it's weird though, cause it doesn't feel like it's like gonna do it. It looks like I have like the receding hairline of a lifetime right now. Oh my gosh. This, here's the comparison, okay? So here's RuPaul and here I am. Color is very, very close. I would say mine's a little bit darker than the picture, but that could just be like the flash picture when taking this. But oh my gosh, it's just as Big. Look at this. If anything, my curls look a little bit more curled or like a little bit more brushed out. Why do I, why do I love it? Why are wigs just like so it for me? I just think it's so, so fun. Look how big this is to you guys. Like this is a huge set of hair. I love this blue color with this lip. It's so, it's so much all at once. And I just like, I'm screaming. I love it. They hold their form, which I almost feel like is really good. Like when I push this back, it's going to like, stay back rather than like falling like normal hair would. 
Like it feels like it already has like three cans of hairspray in it. All right, the next one we're gonna try is this RuPaul Lavender Beau Fantastic. Ooh, fantastic why have I never heard that wig and now this one RuPaul is loving this you can tell it's this lavender lilac purple completely swept to one side wig I have no wigs like this again the yellow and purple packaging in this one is very very cute very pretty actually very cute very pretty not the right descriptors it's just so extra is what it is oh my gosh such a pretty color look at these colors together so pretty like these are such fun wigs like you can just tell that when rupaul was making these he was just like like let's just go all out like let's do fun colors because a lot of times rupaul will be wearing that like golden blonde signature wig like what she created was so so different than what she always wears on the show which is so so fun like look at this okay I'm gonna put it on. It's got another huge poof like the first one. We got a big puff right here. Oh my gosh, what's happening to me? Look at this, you roll up like this. Your hairline is a seven head. Oh my gosh, what was this supposed to look like? I need to analyze and like try and make this work. All the wigs so far have hid the fact that my hair is all blowing out the sides. But this one is really showing it, so I might have to just redo this. All right, let's try this again. Based on your opinion, which way do you think my hair wants to go? Because there's a lot going this way and there's a lot going this way. Oh, maybe it's this way, actually. Okay, well, that was easy. <laughs> this might be the first one that's a little bit difficult to manage. Okay, I think that this is seriously like as good as it's gonna get. I look like what you expect versus what you get. Like maybe I just don't have the expertise to make this look correct, but it looks a little crazy. Look at the color, the color is absolutely stunning. I don't think this style is it for me and I don't like the hairline. Okay, the next one we are gonna try, this is more the typical RuPaul gold blonde wig. This is the polished platinum wig. It looks like it's gonna be really like windswept back. Alrighty, let's see. Wow, that is so, so platinum, so bright. The front looks like it's so padded right in the uh see it's doing it again these always like stick to me look it can stick anywhere look at the front of this wig this isn't up for discussion that this is gonna be like it it's stuck in that position it is rock hard we will see how it looks on me like, i don't know what the best way to do it is because i know like if i was actually wearing a wig down i would definitely put it in braids and everything but for this i don't want to so it looks like it's all like pushed back so if i take this and just see it's just this big puff right here what it's another one of those puffs like in the lavender one a big puff of hair that's just been like teased and teased and teased and teased push it in the right direction which is back apparently honestly this would be really cute if you just put like a little thing right here because then it would look like you like meant to have a little bow because this totally looks like a bow situation this is not working oh i like the bottoms of it though like if i just cut off the top of my head like this it looks kind of cute okay so again here is what it's supposed to look like and here is what it looks like this one is kind of like the other one i just don't like these knotted pieces in here like i understand it's for volume but like these are supposed to be like going back but it's very much just going to the side so i don't think it like gives the right idea definitely the first two are winning so far all right and on to the last but very not least <laughs> the last but certainly not least there you go this cotton candy cough wig coif wig not sure but this one looks very very pretty like if it even looks half that good i'm sold okay let us in here this is a cute color i have so many wigs this color i just absolutely love this strawberry pink okay let's shake it out a little <sighs> this looks like it's gonna be another really really big puffy one look at that that is so pretty okay let's throw it on i'm excited for this one this one looks like it's got the same idea as the blue one like it wants a lot of the hair to go off to the side oh my gosh i think we might have finished off with a bang here is what it's supposed to look like and here it is on me i look like a pink poodle in the best way possible i love this this reminds me so much of the blue one but it's like shorter and it's pink which in my eyes makes it better i love the pink i love how full it is i always see uh drag queens wearing wigs like this and i always wanted a wig that was like nice and full like this and now i have one and 
I just don't know what to do about it. Like, what should I do with it? I definitely have to do a look around this. All right, you guys, so that has been trying on all of the wigs that RuPaul launched with Party City. I am so happy to have these. I'm sure you guys will see them in upcoming videos. I definitely think they're worth the money. My, t I definitely have three faves, and then the other two I could take or leave. They're still good, but they're just not personally my style. Like, I really like these big, fluffy wigs that just, like, hide the hairline, hide any hair underneath, totally distract from everything. Like, it's just a lot of fun in my opinion. I love all the colors and all the stylings. I think they're so much fun. I can't wait to try the lashes. I think it's so funny that RuPaul launched with Party City just because of the Fifi and uh, Sharon Needles drama that happened. Even if that wasn't even a thought in RuPaul's head, it's still funny to me. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you wanna see me review any other wigs, make sure to let me know down below. And if you like this video and would like to see more make sure to click the subscribe button and I will hopefully see you in the next one.